Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It is me, Lasty, here. Welcome to Sunday. Welcome to a brand new episode of the FC24 Ultimate Team Road to Glory, episode number 212 today. Hope you're all doing well. Um, it's a beautiful day out there, and, uh, you know, make sure you enjoy it um, whilst sitting inside watching this video. <laughs> but uh, anyway, if you enjoyed today, do me a favor. Hit, the, hit me with a thumbs up. That'd be brilliant. Uh, and, of course, don't forget... If you're not already, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, it's free and you can click the bell and you'll never miss an episode. All of that good stuff. Uh, so the team is currently looking a little bit like this. Um, we can go ahead and today talk about the uh, the plan for team of the season. Or at least the very start of team of the season. <clears throat> as, I, um, as I prove to you guys right here <clears throat> that doing those flash challenges... Super worth, because I got an 89 tradable Rodri from that one. <clears throat> 10 coin packs. Make sure you're doing your 10 coin packs. They seem to be refreshing once a day, maybe once or twice a day. I missed, uh, maybe I missed one. Um, but uh, yeah, 10 coins. Literally, open the pack. Why not? You never know what you're going to get. Um, of, unfortunately, of course, there's not a whole bunch in packs right now. Uh, it's just those best of team of the week players and your regular walkouts and stuff, right? Uh, but that's okay. So that's part of what we're going to talk about, actually, for my TOTS warm-up preparation for team of the season. Or whatever the first promo part is going to be when it comes to, like, next Friday. So you can see me here completing the 84 times 7s That was for, like, the final time. We've now switched on over to the 83 times 10s haven't we? Which... I have to say, I do like the old 83 times 10s um, Don't know if I prefer them more or the 84 times 7s Anyway, either way, it doesn't matter because the 83 times 10s is what we've got. But um, you're seeing, I'm going to start opening packs. Well, there's not not really anything in packs. So, Tom, what are you doing? So, the main plan here, right, is <clears throat> I need to keep my club flowing. I need the stocks in my club to flow so that I can do the daily SBCs in order to save up the good things for Friday. Um, that's when I'm going to open a bunch of packs because it seems as though team of the season is, is coming if we're in team of the season warm-up promo. Um, so whether it is the first big old TOTS league next week or whether it's some other version of tots i don't know um but i probably will open all of my big packs for that to free up the club again um and then we'll carry on earning you know throughout tots and opening packs as and when we get them um some of you may have been saving for weeks but what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna open everything that is 83 and below um in terms of the numbered packs. So if we get like the old 82 times 4 or something like that, I'll open that. And 80 times 5, I'll open that. And 83 times 3, I'll open that as well. But I won't open an 83 times 10. I will save those. So any big old packs like that, 83 times 10s, 84 times 7s, um, anything that we earn from the seasonal objectives or from the objectives, that is a big old pack. I'm going to save that, you know, like the, the major rewards from the TOTS daily play completion and all of that stuff. I'll, uh, I'll save the major ones so that we've got like guaranteed big number players coming up um, when I do a big old pack opening next Friday night. Uh, which I have to say, I'm very much looking forward to. Uh, and that will be a nice, like a live episode for you. It'll probably be on stream and then uh, and then made into the episode, of course, where hopefully we can pack our first blues. Would be uh, would be delightful, wouldn't it? Now, um, so what's the point in opening the other stuff? Well, to get a little bit of mobility, keep the club moving around. Uh, you know, I have fairly good stocks in the club at the moment of pretty much all medium to low rated fodder players apart from my club kind of goes from like 84 down to 80 so that gap there which annoyingly is what completes the 83 times 10s every day 
I don't really have and I won't be opening. So what is crucial is for when I do my tots daily play and I get the odd 81 double and the 80 times fives, open them up. Um, if we get a walkout and stuff, brilliant. If we get like 84s and whatnot and they're duplicates, well, they can go into a team of the week player pick. I do feel like we're going to carry on needing team of the weeks, um, for, at least for a little bit. You know, normally, normally they change the team of the week requirement to a tots requirement like couple of weeks into team of the season right when everyone's club starts dwindling unless they keep this sbc out for the for the team of the week player pick and then we just go with team of the weeks all the way through uh, as the requirements for sbcs i imagine it will change to team of the week slash tots if you know what i mean um so another little player pick here get ourselves a sebastian sebastian quatters Oh god, we're in another Vidic situation here where I don't I don't remember the first name of the player and I'm not sure of it. Um but yeah, if I keep the club flowing, what I can do is open up some player picks. Get my 83 times 10s done every day. And now these player picks are actually going to be fairly crucial as well because, you know, if if let's say I'm opening the small prime electrum from a team of the week player pick, well, I'm unlikely to get anything really good from that, but I might get, well, I will get a few non-rares and rare golds. So uh, that stuff, that is exactly what can go into these player picks. Uh, and the player picks typically don't give out that great. Um, so what we will do is we'll top the club up of 81s at minimum, or 80s at minimum, I guess. Uh, 81s, 82s, 83s, 84s. And then the odd half decent pull, you know, we've got 185 in here. We did get a Ruben Diaz. There's another 85 in Onana. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll just be keeping a healthy stockpile of lower end fodder in the club. If you get a nice high rated duplicate like a Ruben Diaz, you just don't complain. You stick it into a, an exchange, which I believe are coming to an end at the end of this week, I believe, ready for tots. Whether, whether or not they'll come out again or we'll get a, a new batch of exchanges uh, is yet to be seen. But uh, I do hope they at least refresh them because they're very, very good. They give you something to do with your high rated duplicates, right? Um, so what we do is, uh, yeah, we end up, you know, getting a bunch more non-rare golds and gold, rare golds into the club. That's more player picks. That's more 83 times 10s I could complete. Uh, I've got a really, really healthy stock of the informs in my club so i shouldn't run out there and obviously with lower end dupes I'll, I'll put them into the team of the week pick so we've got a constant flow of that as well so that's kind of like my my plan um to just keep to not be in like complete and utter save everything for tots mode but save all of the good stuff keep everything else flowing um don't lock myself to not opening packs because I'm storing up player picks. I'm going to open the player picks uh, and then just carry on from there. Uh, and then maybe right towards the end of next week, if, we have, if we've got player picks during the week, um, maybe what I'll do is sort of come Wednesday, Thursday, uh, or after Rivals Rewards, I'll end up building a load of player picks that I can then save up to be the first thing that we open on Friday night. Um, so my first game of the weekend league, uh, I was 2-0 down. I managed to claw it back to 2-2. My opponent then rage quit. So uh, what a great start to the weekend league. Let's hope for the next game that gets somewhat sorted out. Uh, because that is just a problem, isn't it? There's not, it's a difficult one to fix. Um, but yeah, my opponent quit on me because, because just because I equalised. Great. So I get nothing. He gets a loss. Um, but never fear. We come back stronger in the next game. 2-0 up after like 13 or 14 minutes, I think it was. And make that three with a lovely sort of technical run and a, a lovely little finesse finish there from Garincha. Uh, so 3-0, rage quit. We're on the board. 1-0. and oh. um, And a good win as well. That's more what I expect from uh, game number one. Not not loads of reds and, uh, and, and tough, old, tough old opponents that quit on you when you equalise. So, game two. Uh, super solid squad. Uh, I know that that Prince always does me in. I've got her in my club, but I just typically don't use her for some reason. It's because I've got all these other players like Drogba and stuff in the club right now. Um, but I got a red card in the ninth minute. Laurent Blanc got sent off. So I took off Garincha, put on Marquez. So I had a full, uh, full defense. But yeah, I was obviously then missing one of my wide cams. And that also kind of screws with the positioning of Kaka, the other wide cam. He ends up going central quite a lot. 
uh, and uh, yeah, it just it just messes it up a bit. But as you can see there, I ended up going one nil up, got equalised on, went two one up um, with the dodgiest goal you'll ever see. But I could not shake uh, this Tielemans and Prins combo, and Chloe Kelly, of course, as well. She's she's absolutely rapid. Um, so yeah, the, I just I couldn't get into a proper lead against this guy. And then as you'll see, uh, I end up going a couple of goals down. 20 minutes left of the game, I got a red card. I'd rather not take the red card. Let's just quit that one, move on. My opponent gets the win, and I, I just take my first L of the weekend league. And that's okay. You know, we're expecting to get plenty of them throughout our time playing this uh, this game mode. So, <clears throat> next one, I go 1-0 up. Didier Drogba with a fine bit of skill and a lovely finish. And then Kaká ends up just cutting it across. Uh, Kolo Moani did not really get a touch on that one. It was... Uh, Ended up being an own goal, I think, from Desai. But uh, then Trossard. I've been seeing Trossard a lot lately. And it's not been that one. It's been the, the one that you'll see in the next game, actually. Uh, he just got a showdown card, didn't he? So, uh, Or oh, he's had a showdown card. Has he just got one or has he... Has he ha I don't know. I'm seeing a lot more Trossard. Um, which is a pain because he's actually really good at dribbling. But 3-2 up, Kolo Moani's through again, makes it 4-2. My opponent would not give up in this one, uh, but we kept pushing on. Kolo Moani through again. Uh, I don't know if in, it was in this game that I'd already subbed on Moani, or if I'd already changed Keane out to Moani. But I got bored of Robbie Keane. Uh, he wasn't quite doing what I wanted him to. Uh, so I put my other l newest striker in, which of course is the Frenchman from PSG. Uh, now we reached level 35. Just five levels left to go. And I think, have I got to do that by this Thursday? If so, I hope there's uh, plenty of XP on, on offer because I am I'm lacking. But um, yeah, we've... What we've done is we've obviously claimed an 85 times 10 there. That is way better than an 88 plus birthday card. Surely. Like, absolutely surely, right? Um, so we're, we've, we've done that. And then, when, of course, we got our daily games played uh, stuff done. So we can open packs from that. I ended up getting a walkout pop here from an either an 80 times 5 or an 80 times 2. Something like that. What is this pack? Yeah, it's just a double pack. That's brilliant. You know, lovely. I'll take an 88 rated walk out from that. Um, feeds the club again in case, of course, you know, not everything in my club is going to go into these 83 times 10s every day. Um, there might be a really good player SBC that I want to do. I'm hearing people say good things about uh, Eric Dyer, who if they were to, if, if, if you know, Bayern were to win in the, in the second leg, and then you can put him through the Evo, turns into an absolute monster of a centre-back. Um, so, you know, there could be players there that I actually want to complete, like the showdowns and stuff, throughout the week. So getting half-decent fodder along the way is actually also a very good thing. Um, but I would like to have a good stock of players in the club. We'll, we'll, we'll get a good stock of players, won't we? I actually can empty the higher-end part of the club this week, um, I think, because... When we come to actually open our packs next Friday, I'm going to end up getting loads of walkouts and stuff. There's no doubt about it with the amount of big packs I've got. So we'll fill that stuff up again in case there's any big, like, TOTS SBC that comes out. So that's good. Um, anyway, back into the weekend league after a short intermission of packs. Yeah, my next opponent has the Showdown Trossard, who I'm guessing is the other version of the Bayern versus Arsenal uh, showdown. Um, so that makes sense. But yeah, I'm 2-0 I'm, I'm up here. I, I should have shot with Drogba there, but I accidentally... I think I fat-fingered it and just passed it instead of shot. Uh, but yeah, you can see we're making it 3-0 here. Things are looking quite good. Took me till the 60th minute. This was a 0-0 tough game in the first half. And then I scored three in 15 minutes in the second half. Make it make sense. <laughs> I just broke his defence, I think, in the end there. Maybe I made a couple of changes. Maybe that was it. Uh, but yeah, there's the third win in the weekend league. We're 3-1 and one right now. Of course, we we would have been 4-1 and one if, if we'd have carried on in that very first game where my opponent quit. But next opponent has Team of the Year Messi. He's part of the 0.7%. Uh, and also, uh, like, uh, who else did he have? Was it um, an Evo Sol Campbell or something? He had some very good players. Either way. 
So at 2-0 down here, um, I'm thinking, oh dear, this is not good. I did stick in it though because I thought, you know what, if we get one goal back, I think we might be, might be okay. Um, and we did just that actually. Quite soon after he'd scored that free kick, we ran down the other end. Drogba to Kolo Moani, get the goal. And then unfortunate bounces later, Insigne ends up sticking one in to make it 3-1. And then right here, my controller had run out of batteries. I realised I hadn't charged my other batteries so there was nothing I could do uh, apart from witness a goal go in, put some of the old ones in to hope there was a tiny bit of life in, just so I could quit the game. Because uh, at 4-1 down, yeah, I figured we're done there. Um, and that's no problem at all. So we're 3-2 and two after the first five. That's a very average start from me, but better than we have done in recent weeks. So that's all right. We get an 87 times 4. And an 85 times 10. We're properly stacking up the big old packs now. This is excellent stuff. I can't wait for next Friday now. It's going to be the slowest week ever, isn't it? Um, but yeah, we'll save them up. We complete that Galazzo Master for, uh, for champs and rivals. Thanks for watching today. If you've enjoyed, do me a small favor. Hit me with a thumbs up. Are you still playing your champs? If so, what is your record? What was your record if you're finished? Or what, if you're still going, let me know. Uh, yeah, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe as well if you're new. Cheers, mates. Uh, my social links are down below as well. Hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Take it easy. Enjoy your Sunday. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.